This is my book review of How to Lie with Statistics by Daryl Huff. It's an older book. It was written in the 1950s. Um, it's a small book, too. It was only like 140 pages, I believe. But, yeah, written in the 1950s. You can tell by the illustration. A lot of the wording is dated. Um, you know, for example, African Americans. They're not African Americans in this book. They're blacks. Not politically correct, but, you know, that was the time period the book was written. Um, it's not very technical. Not very technical in the least. Um, you know, the most technical terms they use, like, uh, at the beginning, the one example of how to lie with statistics, they say they use the average. Well, that could mean the mean, median, or mode. So mean, median, and mode, that's the most technical terms they get into. Like, they don't even talk about you know, standard deviation, um, matrices. They don't even talk about, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it's kind of weird, because the book, they use, like, a lot of, you know, big, intelligent words, like, you know, they say the malfeasance of the marketing director decides to put up a graph, uh, the chicanery of the day which we live in. You know, it, it's written very wordy. Um, and it was all right, but for the most part, I didn't like it. You know, they didn't really say anything that I didn't already know. You know, like a good example is like they'll have a graph, but... You know, they'll change, um, they'll change, like, the X or the Y axis, so, like, lengthen it or shorten it to make it look different, um, you know, rounding up numbers, a lot of it, like, you'll read in a magazine, a recent study says one out of five Americans prefer so-and-so, and it's, you know, they're explaining why it's BS, like, obviously it wouldn't be a rounded number. Um, you know, the sample size, you know, especially for something like a magazine or something that's, um, not very scientific, you know, their sample size is probably really small. They probably only asked a hundred people, you know, they talk about like, well, that's, you know, not being honest with statistics, uh, they also talk about cherry picking with statistics. You know, a lot of pharmaceutical companies do that when they send drug reviews to the FDA. They have so much money to burn, they'll do a bazillion studies and then they'll only use the ones that have, um, you know, a non falsifiable hypothesis, 95% or greater. So, you know, that's actually easy to do if you do a crap ton of studies and you cherry pick them. Again, didn't really, you know, not something that you didn't already know. So, yeah, um, you know, not my favorite, but it was, it was, it was all right. 